But you've got to remember, whenever you're out on a march, the police are camered up, cameras everywhere. They're holding cameras on sticks, they've got cameras on their chest, they've got cameras on their helmets, and if something kicks off and there's only a few policemen there at the time, they won't do anything, but they've got the video evidence and the next day you'll get a knock on the door. So believe me, at any march, always be on your best behaviour because the state will get you. <laughs> the state is very powerful. And it's for people like ourselves to try to ensure that the state is as fair as possible and to argue for that fairness. And that requires us to argue always for freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, even if it means we're going to hear stuff and we're going to see stuff that we personally may not approve of. And I think we should always be very cautious about promoting any kind of restriction of freedom of speech or freedom of assembly. Even though it might feel good at the moment to do it, it doesn't work out for us in the long run. The only thing that works out is cleaving to the British Constitution, by which is meant freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, rule of law, democracy, and treating people as you would want to be treated yourself. <laughs>